What's up everybody? Today I'd like to discuss what's the difference between sites available and sites enabled in Apache. Uh, they are similar but at the same time they are different and we need to understand what they are used for, how to use them properly. Uh, basically uh, these are just two different directories in Apache and let's check uh, by typing ls-la and then path to uh, sites available which is at c apache sites available press enter and here you can see i have four different uh, config files for virtual hosts now let's check the same for sites enabled type in ls-la apache sites enabled here you can see that i have only one file which is link uh, to uh, file with the same name located at sites available so it means that i only have uh, one particular site up and running uh, wptest.conf and sites enabled just contains links uh, to corresponding files in sites available directory and if we just remove this particular link uh, and reload our Apache, it will mean that our website is not served anymore. But we don't need to do this manually, we don't need to remove files. Instead, there is convenient command and uh, let's try to do that. I will clear screen. First of all, let's check that my site is working. I will type in WP test in the browser so you can see it is loading. I'll go back to the terminal. Now let's disable our uh, site. So type in sudo a2, then this, this means disable site, and then wptest.conf, the name of the config file, which is insights enabled or insights available. Press enter. So now for the changes to take effect, you need to reload Apache, type in sudo service Apache reload, press enter. And now let's check uh, how our directories looks like again. I will type in ls-la at c Apache sites available. Uh, we still have four files here, so everything just the same. And now let's check sites enabled. So it is empty now and there are no sites running. And if I go back to my browser and try to reload the page, you can see that my website is no longer available. It is just showing uh, some index, uh, which I think is default behavior of Apache to show the listing of directory. Uh, so now you understand that sites available contains real config files and sites enabled just contains the links. Uh, so when you enable site, it is there. And when you disable, uh, the link is removed. Uh, of course, you can just copy the real file to sites enabled, but it is not recommended to do this way. Uh, so it is always uh, better to use commands like sudo a to this site to disable and there is another command sudo a to n site which enable enables the site in Apache so let's enable it back again I'll type in sudo a to n site and then wptest.conf so we will enable it back again and let's reload Apache again. We reloaded Apache. I will go back to the browser. I will hit refresh. So now my site is working again. So I'll clear screen and let's check directories again. Uh, I'll type in sudo ls-la and see Apache sites available. It's just the same, all the files here, all our virtual hosts that we can use. And uh, let's check sites enabled now. 
sites enabled here you can see that I have my WP test link again it is pointing to sites available and everything is working so this is uh, what it is sites available contains real config files sites enabled uh, contains just links uh, uh, this uh, is kind of temporary directory mm, so when you enable the link is here when you disable website the link disappears uh, so this is pretty much it. I hope uh, this is clear now and see you in the next video.